Now, welcome back. The Porches have two new receivers. Well, not new, they're quite old. Uh, Yezu FRG7700 and a Kenwood R300. They came from a radio operator who has had them for a long time. There's quite some scratches on it. A lot of marks. As you know from my previous videos, I don't like that. Okay, let's check and see if they work. On the back side of the Kenwood R300, here are a lot of adjustments. Antennas, ground, external speaker, 12 volts, AC power, DC power, frequency marker adjuster. In the back of the Yezu FOG 7700, there's also similar connections, a little bit extra. So let's take them upstairs into the ham shack, connect them onto an antenna, and we see what will happen. Okay, so we can see that the uh, little bulb behind the VFO is not working. And also, some buttons are a little bit, have a little notch in them. The rest seems to be okay. Anyway, this has to be changed. That's not good. Okay, so I have all the screws removed. Um, we're gonna take the top off. Inside is not that bad. Okay, let's strip it down, find this bolt. Okay, the bottom side is off now. You can see if I've got a good vision on both sides. It looks quite original. A few capacitors changed here and there. Uh, it doesn't look like it has been interfered with. It looks quite original. Possibly they are not original. That's possible. Okay. Okay, let's get to the VFO. Now that VFO drops down. Okay. And the bulb is all the way at the back. We didn't build this so that you could replace this easily. Okay, the VFO is held in by a subframe. So most likely we're going to have to drop this uh, PCB, which is the front end. Um, it's not an easy one straight off. Okay, there's lots of issues here. You have this uh, chassis, but we'll get there. We're gonna put it back into place for now study this uh, chassis and how um, so I have the VFO out this is the blown bulb it looks like a train set bulb or radio 12 volt maybe 9 volts anyway that's the bulb that's him uh, it sits in there in the VFO so we need to change that I don't have that bulb right now so I'm gonna try and put an LED in there let's try a blue one just for the simple fact that I have one um, there's one issue here I don't know what is the uh, voltage here and what's the polarity so what I need to do first is I need to test uh, I've, I've um, tested that there's no uh, leak of 220 on the radio so let's just test this way if you can watch the screen you should be getting let's say 12 volts here okay we're getting 
0.144 in negative polarity. So we need to switch that, okay? Now, 9.144 positive polarity. So this is our positive, okay? That's a positive. Um, switch it off. Let's uh, do some tests. Bingo. Okay. So let's try to see if we can get that into the VFO, which we will be able to uh, desolder it, solder it up, and see how it looks. Now we'll just, uh, of course, we have to seal this up and uh, and so on. This is just for testing. Okay. Don't attack me in all the comments. Might be too bright we might have to put a 1k ohm resistor in here uh, but we're going to test this and see but well, this is not that difficult to get back in if you're doing one of these uh, you just basically line it up make sure you don't clip any capacitors okay line it up like that on the chassis you see that that's all you really have to do and your bezel will then slide in that way, you see? All right, this is a fairly easy job to do. Uh, you need a little bit of patience, of course. But just pop one of them screws in there. Just to line this up. Don't forget, I'll be giving all this a little torque uh, uh, when I have everything set. This is just to give you an impression how easy this little job is. It's super easy. It's not difficult. Anybody be able to do this. Now, let's test this, okay? Let's put power back on here. Okay, are you ready? Now look at that. Look at that. That's cool. That's better than the white one, I think. Oh. Uh, I put it back together and then we, we go further. Okay. I have the four screws tightened. You see the little small screws now for the bezel. Another thing I noticed is um, there was only two screws in this when I opened it, so it, and, and there should be four. Now, that could mean someone else has re replaced that bulb, but it looked original. The speaker looks good. There's no tears or rips or anything like that. Okay. Another thing to note, that speaker is very easy to change. So if you have one of these with a bad speaker, that's easy to do. Now, so, 
Um, you know, just uh, help us out, give us something to uh, play with. Uh, so. Okay, listen, it's time to test it now. We're going to put it live for the night show on 14200. But we'll see what happens in the morning, uh, whether any this thing had any problems or not. I already saw some uh, bad switches in it, but we'll see how the night goes.